Matapos magkampyon sa men's basketball ng UAP Season 78, gigil na ang Far Eastern University Tamaraws na maibalik ang corona sa kanilang campus sa Moraita. At ngayong UAP Season 80, isa ulit ang FEU sa mga pre-season favorites. And tonight, makakasama natin sa The Score ang head coach ng FEU Tamaraws, 9-time PBA champion and 6-time All-Star na si Coach Olsen Rasella. More importantly, he's our former broadcast team member. On SNA, Coach, how are you doing? And thank you so much for the time. Alam kong busy-busy ka ngayon sa FU Tamaraos. Yes, uh, I'm good. Uh, sana nga nadala ko yung mga ibang players dito, but uh, alam ko okay na sa'yo na ako na lang nandito. Siyempre, Coach. <laughs> Alright, let's get the ball rolling, Coach Olsen. One and two right now, but a difficult schedule to start UAP season 80. Your first season bilang head coach ng FU, you already played the two teams that faced off in the finals last year, Ateneo and Lasal. Coach, ano yung mga natutunan mo as a new head coach for FU, and what did your players learn from those two games against the top two teams? Well, malake um, playing those uh, top two teams, the finalists from uh, last season. Uh, malaking bagay. Marami silang natutunan, especially when you're up against uh, quality uh, teams that, you know, you have to play for 40 minutes. Hindi ka pwedeng mag-relax uh, um, at any given time. Uh, we started slow against um, La Salle mm -hmm. and I think it cost us the game. Uh, we lost it in the first quarter. Then going up against um, Ateneo, they're a very uh, disciplined team, well-coached. And, um, well, going up against them, ano lang talaga eh, you, you'll uh, learn a lot. Uh, grabe yung discipline nila when they uh, move the basketball. And um, um, it was a tough game for us. But uh, like you said, uh, sa manong schedule namin, we played the, the finalists or top two teams this season in our first three games. And one to kami. But we're hoping for... Uh, um, better games ahead and more, more, hopefully more wins. All right, Coach Olsen, let's go back a little bit and talk about the time when you started assuming your role as head coach and then you chose, and this is a unique uh, decision by you, three captains. <laughs> Itong si uh, Tuffin, si Escoto, and Joe Trinidad. Yes. Why the selection of those three? Uh, well, gusto namin it's ano eh, collective uh, leadership. Uh, kung pwede nga, lahat that the whole team, diba? but uh, we chose those three because, um, well, see, Jojo and uh, um, Richard Escoto, uh, because of their veteran leadership, and they were part of the last um, champion team ng FU in 2015. Mm -hmm. And then, see, si Ken Tuffy naman is more of, see, si Ken kasi is a um, uh, uh, leader by example. Um, lahat ng ginagawa sa court, even off the court. Um, this is only his f second year, mm. but um, he's shown signs of uh, being a good leader. So, yung tatlo ang pinili namin. Coach, I was very interested when I found out that you were going to be the head coach of FEU because you were going to get some players na matagal mo nang kilala. Guys like Arvin Tolentino and Hubert Cani, players that you coached when they were still very young in the RP Youth team. What do you expect from these two as you go along in UAP Season 80? These are two big-name players, especially when they were in high school. Yes. Um, well, see, Arvin and uh, Hubert naman, I think they're going to grow during the season. Um, I'm not rushing things for for these two players. So, sabi ko, dahan-dahan lang for them. Kaya, um, but they're, they're a big part of my um, rotation. I'm very familiar with those two players. Like you said, uh, naglaro na sila sa akin for, for the youth team. And uh, like I said, they're going to be a, uh, they're a big part of my rotation this, uh, this season. And uh, you know what uh, Arvin can do offensively. Um, we're hoping that he'll improve uh, on the defensive side. And then um, Hubert Cani also uh, is a very good offensive player. Uh, perfect siya sa, sa dribble drive um, system. But um, one aspect that we need Hubert to improve on is um, well his leadership also. Um, he's coming off the bench uh, this season. And like I said, uh, we hope these two players to grow um, during the season. 
being one of the best point guards Philippine basketball has ever produced, Coach Olsen, sigurado ako na very excited ang mga point guards to play for you. Like Joe Trinidad, of course, uh, Hubert Cani, and this guy from Cebu who, who originally played for Cebu, si J.R. Parker. I used to cover him in the PCCL when he was playing for Southwestern University. Now he's, he's playing for you. What do you expect from J.R. Parker? Well, see, uh, JR, well, this is his first season in um, UAP. Um, and I ko sa kanya, this is um, a different league compared to um, dun sa Cebu. Mm -hmm. So, sabi ko, dahan dahan lang. Uh, um, he's coming off the bench also uh, for us. Pero, grab yung um, court vision ni, ni J.R. Parker. Mm -hmm. And uh, again, uh, just like uh, Hubert Cani, uh, magaling siya sa dribble drive. Um, I think that's the system that they used also when he was playing in uh, Cebu. Mm -hmm. So, sanay na siya sa sistema. And um, he's one of the leaders of the team also. I mean, he may be, uh, this may be his first year, mm -hmm. pero matagal na yung naglalaro dito sa Philippines si JR. At syempre, Coach, uh, kailangan din ng isang... Uh matibay na big man, lalo na dito sa UAAP because you have guys like Papi Sar, you have Ike who's continuing to improve, and then of course Big Ben and Bala. So, what about the development of Prince Orizu? Coach, how satisfied are you with how he is as a player right now at ano pa ang may bibigay niya sa iyong kupunan? Well, the thing with uh, Prince uh, Orizu is, well, kahit hindi mo siya bigyan uh, ng bola, and you, 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 even if you don't run plays for him, Takbo lang siya na takbo. I mean, if uh, we miss, he'll run back in, on defense. And uh, he's our anchor on defense. I, halata naman yun the past years that um, he's there mainly to patrol the inside para sa, sa amen defensively. But now, we're trying to involve him more uh, on the offensive end. So you'll see him uh, get some touches underneath. And um, it's for his development also. I mean, uh, if he gets better offensively, um, it will benefit us also. Alam mo, Coach Olsen, nakakatawa. When I look at your lineup, your, your roster, there are many familiar names. Uh, mga names na naririnig lang natin sa NBA. Like Stockton, <laughs> like Barclays. It's Barclay Abonia. Barclays is his first name. Tapos, syempre, nandiyan pa si Parker. And then, of course, uh, not a lot of people know that your brother, Coach Nash, Coach Nash Rosella, is still helping out. So, um, how, how much um, of a help, is, uh, of, of an influence, is, is Coach Nash uh, with you taking over the mantle as the head coach ng FEU? Well, he's not um, uh, visible during practices. Um, he's there during games. Uh, we talk uh, before and after games, and he gives his uh, views, his pointers. Um, I mean, Adam, ako, he's a um, uh, more experienced uh, coach. Tagal na ako coach ni Coach Nash, and um, I listen a lot to to um, to him and to his advice. So malaking bagay siya being the consultant also now of the team. All right, Coach. Um, what's next on the schedule of FEU? Kailang kayo mapapanood ng mga UAP fans? Um, our next game is this Saturday yeah. against okay. um, UST, yeah. and then next Wednesday against uh, NU. So abangan nila yung uh, next two games namin. Ayan. Coach Olsen Rosella, new head coach of the FU Tamaros. Coach O, maraming salamat sa oras and good luck this coming UAP season in the upcoming games. Thank you, Anton. Thank you, Coach. For more sports updates, keep watching The Score. And don't forget to subscribe.